Hello everybody and welcome to day five of our 31 days of March Madness. I'm Laura Serrant and I am a global inclusive practice specialist and I'm a leadership coach. For those of you who may not have joined us before, I'll give you a quick recap. In March, I'm given 31 days to share my musings, my thoughts and my experiences about the things which affect us as we move through our lives, particularly in leadership, in business ownership, or even as human beings. Just like this fabulous month of transition, which is March, we often start enthusiastic, enthusiastically even, <laughs> coming in like a lion, full of hope, promise, aspiration and ambition. But sometimes, as we go through our work lives or our leadership roles, we start playing quietly tamer, even without us knowing sometimes. And just like the month of March, our transition isn't one of maintaining pace and intention, but one of changing from a lion to a lamb. And I'm using the alphabet to help us navigate our way through this month. So today it's the letter D. And D in our journey uh, through this wonderful month stands for discernment or discerning. Now when I looked up in the dictionary discernment was defined as having or showing good judgment it was used with other words such as astute, insightful, perceptive. All the things which illustrate almost a directional movement in our way of thinking. An intention, clear and consistent. However, the reality of discernment or using discerning judgment in the real world, where we all live obviously, is that things are never quite black and white. It's not just about good or bad, but discernment is much more subtle than that. It's about the difference between grey and greyer, perhaps better and best, or best and good enough. Discernment isn't so exact. It actually is about us using all the experiences that we have to help us inform our judgments and our decisions. Discernment is also about the journey towards the end. It's about making sure that we reflect and consider whether the decision we made at the beginning is still the right decision. Often, when we start doubting our decisions, Discernment is what puts us back on the right path or reassures us that despite the obstacles, we need to keep going. However, discernment isn't just about ourselves and it isn't just about what we do, our actions and reactions. It's also about the impacts that our decisions make. Sometimes discernment is about a balance of judgment. Maybe we are still working consistently towards the end goal. But discernment allows us to reflect on whether the end actually justifies the means. If the price and the cost of moving continuously in the direction that we're going in is that ourselves or others are harmed in the process, Discernment allows us that humanity to perhaps pause, to reflect and to consider whether the direction of travel is still worth it. Or at least to think about whether the mode with which we're travelling, the ways in which we've decided to move towards our goal are still worth it. Discernment allows us to see the impacts of our decisions on everybody, including ourselves. It's what allows us to be human. Discernment is a learned skill. It's not something we're born with. 
we know from the watching small children and even ourselves that sometimes we make the same mistakes over and over again until we decide, hmm, is this really, really worth it? Discernment can sometimes be clouded by our willingness or our eagerness to get to the end. Our willingness or eagerness to believe once again that this can't quite be true. There's many researchers, philosophers and poets who talk about how discernment is easily derailed by our will and our hope as human beings that it be different next time. There's an old phrase that says, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. But discernment sometimes is about our, our ability to sometimes continue with a belief, even in the face of everything that we are shown. There is a little bit of discernment that actually creates or elicits us the, the ability to be cautious. And the question or the phrase that relates to this is in how discernment in its truest sense enables us to not believe everything that we think. So there's a question here about the difference between discernment and decision making. And that's sometimes something that people get very confused. For me, when I think about the difference between discernment in leadership and decision making in leadership, discernment are the skills that I use in order to help me make the decisions. Decision making is much more about, I suppose, analyzing and distinguishing between different choices or different ways of acting in order that we can identify the choices which we ultimately decide between. Discernment are the skills that we use to do that whole process of reduction to options, but it also is the skill that we use to make the choice of which is best in this context. Because you see, discernment actually understands that there is no absolute answer. Something isn't right or wrong in and of itself. Discernment allows us to take into, into account all the things, all the different contexts, the people involved, the time, and even our own ability or our own levels of energy. And taking all those things together Discernment allows us to ultimately use our human judgment to make the decision. But discernment also accepts that our judgment sometimes is flawed, can be swayed or isn't perfect. Discernment is our ability to see things for what they really are in context and not what we want them to be. So, today I leave you with discernment, something which allows us to learn a skill, something which is learned and allows us to use all our expertise whether that expertise comes from training and ex or experience. Discernment requires openness and courage. Discernment requires us to focus on the intention, the purpose and the final outcome that we're looking for. And discernment also requires us to accept that even if we are the leader, even if we are the business owner, even if we are the eldest in the family or the person in charge, we are human and fallible. And all the answers don't lie with ourselves. I'll see you tomorrow.